All right, in this video, we define row vectors, column vectors, and matrices made of numbers, real numbers. Okay, let's start. So we first define a row vector that is a row vector, uh, actually n-dimensional row vector. Uh, row vector. That is just a tuple, n tuple of real numbers. So it's made of an uh, ordered set of n real numbers. Of course. So x1, x2, they are all real numbers. So it's, a, it's an element of n dimensional space, real space. And of course, this r to the power of n means the Cartesian product of the set of uh, real numbers. So we combine uh, these sets n times. And uh, a vector is not just that. So this is just a set, right? Uh, so this is just a set and uh, this is just an element of this set. But when, you, when we talk about vector, we also assume two operations. That is addition and uh, scalar multiplication. So addition is addition between two vectors. So let's say if we have x1, x2, and so on, and xn, then we add another row vector. Uh, let's say y1, y2, and so on, up to yn. And we define this addition to be this x1 plus y1 and x2 plus y2 so it's element wise addition and so on and xn plus yn you know this n can be any natural number okay so uh, in case of two dimensions let's say uh, we have one and three and negative 3 and 5, for example. These are elements of two-dimensional space, right? So if we add them, 1, 3 plus negative 3, 5. So we add element-wise. So 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, and 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is the result. Okay, so this is addition. And uh, scalar multiplication is the multiplication between a real number and a row vector. So let's say lambda, this is a Greek letter, lambda, it's a real number, and uh, x1, x2, and so on, xn is a row vector of this n-dimensional space, then their multiplication lambda times a vector is just this. So we multiply this real number, lambda, to each element, it's all elements. Okay, So that becomes lambda x1, lambda x2, and so on, and lambda xn. So this defines the scalar product. And uh, so, for example, let's say pi is a real number, and uh, that again, 1, 3 is a two-dimensional row vector. And if we multiply this, pi times 1, 3, and by the way, sometimes we just omit this dot, you know, and it's better to omit this dot, actually, because dot will be used for another purpose. And uh, the result is uh, pi times 1 is pi, and pi times 3 is 3 pi. And row vectors are called row vectors because we align uh, numbers in a row, like this. On the other hand, uh, we can also align the numbers in a vertical direction, so we can write like x1, x2, and so on, and xn. And again, this can be seen as an element of n-dimensional space, but uh, the numbers are aligned in a different manner. 
and these are called column vectors because it's a column of, uh, of numbers so column uh, column vectors Yeah, and uh, for column vectors, we also define addition and scalar multiplication. Uh, for example, uh, if we have uh, two-dimensional column vectors, one, two, and three, four, then if we add them, it's element-wise addition. So one plus three and two plus four. So that's uh, one plus three is four, two plus four is six. Okay, And also scalar multiplication. Uh, let's say uh, 2 times 1, 2. So it's again, we multiply this scalar. So it scales the vector. And uh, 2 times 1 and 2 times 2. So that's 2 and 4 in case of uh, two-dimensional space. If this n here is, uh, is not a prime number, then we can uh, write this n as some multiple of uh, uh, two natural numbers, right? So let's say k and l times l. So in that case, we can arrange the numbers in, in a vector in, in multiple rows and multiple columns. For example, let's say, uh, let's consider a six-dimensional case. So this can be written as, for example, two times three or three times two. So if we consider a vector in this way, so let's say if suppose we have a vector, a row vector, x1, x2, sometimes we can omit co uh, call these, these commas, uh, x2, x3, x4, x5, and x6. Instead of writing like this, maybe we can write like x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 in this way. So this is 2 by 3 matrix. So it is called a matrix. Okay. Or we can write x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. So this is 3 by 2 matrix. So this is 2 by 3 matrix. And this is 3 by 2 matrix. So the number of rows comes first, usually. And the number of columns, in this case, there are 3, so it comes next. And 3 rows and 2 columns, in this case. Matrices, as we introduced here, are just vectors, right? So vectors arranged in a different uh, manner. So we can also define uh, addition and scalar multiplication. For example, uh, let's consider two by two matrices. Let's say one, two, three, four, and uh, five, six, seven, eight. So we have two two by two matrices. And if we add them, it's element-wise addition, just like vectors. So, so we add this and this, so one, one element. So first row and first column, usually we call it one, one element. And one, one element and one, one element added together, then we get six here. And one, two elements, so first, column, uh, first row and second column is one, two element. So two plus six is eight. And then this one and this one. Uh, two one element, two one element, three seven that's ten, then two two element, two two element that's twelve. So this is addition. And uh, scalar multiplication. Uh, let's say if we multiply by pi, one two three four. So this scalar is multiplied to every element here. So that becomes pi, 2 pi, and 3 pi, and 4 pi, and so on. So as far as addition and scalar multiplications are concerned, row vectors, column vectors, and matrices, they behave in exactly the same way. 
Okay, now by combining addition and scalar multiplication, we can uh, define linear combination in general. Linear combination of two or more vectors. So suppose we have two vectors, u and v. Let's say they belong to n-dimensional space. And so let's say lambda and mu, they are real numbers. Then a linear combination. The linear combination of these two vectors is something like this. Lambda u plus mu v. So this is a linear combination. Okay, why it's called linear? So linear means there are no nonlinear terms like uh, u squared or v squared and so on. You know, of course, we didn't define multiplication between vectors so, so far. So u squared doesn't make sense, or v squared or v times u, it, it doesn't make sense, right? Anyway, so there are only linear terms in this expression. So it's called a linear combination. More generally, if we have, uh, uh, let's say, k vectors, so let's say uh, v1, v2, and so on, v up to vk. And suppose they all belong to some uh, n-dimensional space. And lambda 1, lambda 2, and so on, and lambda k, they are just real numbers. Then more general linear combination may be written as like lambda 1 times v1, and lambda 2 times v2, and so on. So add them all, lambda k, vk. So this is uh, another linear combination of these k vectors. Uh, let's see a more concrete example. For example, uh, two-dimensional vector 5 and negative 9, for example. Uh, can be written as, for example, 3 times 1 negative 1 plus uh, 2 times 1 negative 3. So to check this, uh, just calculate this scalar product and this scalar product and add them. So, so the right-hand side here is 3 negative 3 plus and 2 and negative 6. So that is two, uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, and negative 3 plus negative 6 is negative 9. So this is indeed equal to the left-hand side. So this vector can be expressed as a linear combination like this one. Of course, this may not be unique. Okay. Uh, I mean, not maybe, but it's not unique. Uh, so you can express this ve vector in many other linear combinations. But anyway, so that's all for this video. And uh, we will delve into more uh, applications of uh, vectors and matrices in, uh, in later videos. See you later.